Flow Design is a virtual wind tunnel, ideal for quickly modeling airflow over a wide range of models, including architectural structures, aircraft, consumer goods, and automobiles. To help you get started with Flow Design, this video walks you through the entire Flow Design process from start to end. Start Flow Design by clicking the desktop icon. Begin by importing a model. Flow Design supports a number of different formats. Additionally, there are several sample models to choose from. As soon as you load the model, the simulation starts to run. There are several settings you can adjust to define the simulation for your particular model. Flow Design uses a default simulation resolution based on the model size. When you decrease this resolution, the model runs faster, but the results can be a little less accurate. When you increase the resolution, the solution accuracy improves, but the simulation takes longer to run. It's important that the wind tunnel be the right size. Ideally, the gap between the model and the wind tunnel should be about twice the model dimension in each direction. Additionally, there should be two lengths upstream and about four lengths downstream. For a quicker study, though, you can use a smaller wind tunnel size and save some time. You can also use this dialog to adjust the flow speed through the wind tunnel. Just like in a real wind tunnel, you can change the wind approach angle by changing the model orientation. You can customize the appearance of the graphics window and the color scheme with the tools in the View toolbar. Velocity shows the wind speed and direction. You can show pressure to visualize the wind resistance of the model. To view the time history of drag, enable the drag plot. This is useful for tracking the drag coefficient and drag force through the course of the simulation. Currently, we're viewing results on a 2D plane. You can change its orientation with the front side top icons. You can move the plane with the drag handle. You can also show vectors to view the direction of air movement. Flow lines show the airflow, much like a colored dye or smoke, injected into the stream. There are several types of flow lines to choose from. You can use the settings to customize the appearance of flow lines. In 2D simulations are useful for quick, conceptual studies. In 2D, the flow is computed just on the plane. For more detailed aerodynamic simulations, switch to 3D. In 3D, you can view the pressure on the surface of the model. This is useful for understanding the aerodynamic drag forces. Isosurfaces are great for showing the flow in 3D simulations. They show every location that has the same value of the displayed result quantity. You can use isosurfaces to show where the velocity or pressure is highest or lowest in your model. When the simulation is complete, you'll probably want to save the results and share them with others. To do this, save a static image or a video clip. To save the simulation setup, click Export. This concludes our quick tour of flow design. In the next videos, we'll slow down a little and go over some specific skills that you'll need to run your own simulations.